Good. It's good evening, everyone. Good evening. We will call the meeting to order.
department back in 2016 implemented a project to help reuse some of the wastewater within the, the wastewater treatment plant for uh, use within the plant. So we have several pieces of equipment that use water to help clean and, and uh, process the wastewater. And uh, historically, that has been done using normal potable water. Well, the, this project back in 2016 was designed to use some of the treated wastewater instead of using good potable drinking water. The uh, benefits of that is obvious that we can now use that potable water for people's homes and uh, businesses. So uh, the project was installed. There were a number of issues related to the, to the design and the specification of the equipment. And it, the project ended up just being too labor intensive and had a number of, of headaches uh, when it was installed. And it just never really worked as well as, as should have. Uh, the, in, about a year ago, the Public Works Department began looking at options for uh, retrofitting the equipment and improving the design to get it to a point where it would work satisfactorily. And we engaged the original equipment vendor, BSS of Variable Speed Solutions, and we came up with a design that we feel is uh, adequate to, uh, to retrofit the existing equipment and operate efficiently and reliably. So the project is to, um, to, to install some additional pumps and filters, and the end result is that it will actually save us about 113 acre feet of pumpable of purchasing water rights for that amount of water is about $850,000 in, in water rights costs. So the, uh, the project is about $100,000 to, to do the retrofit and the public works department budgeted $95,000 in this fiscal year. The difference will be made up through just uh, cutting back on some of the other projects. It's fairly minor so staff's recommendation is that you approve the purchase of the recycled water pump station equipment from VSS for a total of $100,658 plus applicable taxes and shipping and authorize the city manager to approve any necessary change orders up to a maximum of 15% of the original value or $15,099. I'd be happy to answer any questions if you have them. Thank you, John. Any comments from the audience? From the council? Um, since we're considered in a drought, how is that going to affect our city actually with the extra water and so on and so forth? Um, Lack of really no direct effect uh, or correlation to the drought other than um, this is additional water that would, is available for us to pump on an annual basis. Um, we're already with limits so there's no issues with us running out of water currently uh, so I wouldn't base the decision of whether we do this or not based on where any drought or not so does this include the install in this pump yes so that's just turnkey and everything okay. and where are they located at this variable speed solutions I believe they're now in Someone have a microphone. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I was worried about. I know shipping costs right now are going through the roof with the everything that's going on in the trucking industry. So I want to make sure that we work. Yeah, actually, that's the reason why the price went from ninety-five to hundred thousand. We got a quote back in January timeframe yeah. when we were developing our budget, and so. Say, okay, our budget is approved. We're kind of ready to move forward because uh, our prices have gone up a little bit for the equipment costs. Yeah, I've seen freight jump 18 to 20 percent on some stuff in the industry I'm working in just because of pay and everything else going on in the world today. Yeah, thanks, so. Don. Sure. Seems like uh, so on the 100,000 is a how much piping? Is that a lot of piping in the project? It's just a lot of a lot of work here because it's just a, how many pumps at five horsepower each? 
Uh, yeah, they're in the, in the neighborhood of five to 10 horsepower. I think that there's one that's 10. Uh, it's not a lot of piping, it's mostly all the equipment and modifications to the uh, existing skid equipment. There's a computer controller, a programmable logic controller that controls uh, the existing filters and pumps. We're installing new filters and pumps upstream of that. So a lot of the problems were around filtration and so we're adding more and better filtration to help with the, the plugging of the pumps and things like that. There's, there's a lot of technical. Okay, it should just seem like that's a lot of money for a few pumps and a little bit of pipe, but it's more than just that. Yes, yes, for sure. Okay. Okay, there's no more questions. Is there a motion? So moved. I'll second it. I have a motion and a second. We'll call the please. Councilman Blumenkorn? Yes. Councilman Reyes? Yes. Mayor Proton Davies? Yes. Mayor Smith? Yes. It was a 4 0 vote to approve the purchase of recycled pump station equipment from Variable Seed Solutions Incorporated in the amount of $100,658 plus applicable taxes and shipping and authorize the city manager to approve any necessary change orders up to a maximum of 15% of the original lump sum value, which is $15,000. Thank you. Item number seven, eight, nine, and ten, Development Services Director Report. Good evening, Jay. Good evening, Mayor, House members. I uh, have a few items for you. They're all the same. Let me go through them and you guys ask me any questions that you have. The first is notice of completion for the HSIP Enhanced Pedestrian Crossings Project. Uh, I'll maybe make my one introduction um, apply to all four of these. As you guys know, whenever we complete a contract, the engineering and public works departments in the city go out and review those projects for completeness in accordance with the contract that we put out. And once uh, staff teams get appropriate, we bring it to you and ask for you guys to agree with us that the project is complete so that we may file a notice of completion in order to close out the paperwork on the project. So that'll be my same report for the next four. The first project is, is like I said, the enhanced pen crossings. Really wanted to just show you the photos. Um, there, we try to give you some before and after photos. So that's Mill Street at Valley. That's before the project. And the bottom half shows you what we did on the uh, crossing there. Um, and then that's there in front of Tompkins. We already had some improvements to make it safer, but this provides a refuge in the middle and a lot more flashing lights that I think will help keep things calm in that area. So uh, that was the project. We had a grant funding, 100% grant funded for that project. We did arrive within budget, and so I recommend that you approve the notice completion for the HSIB Enhanced Head Crossing Project and for our staff to report the same. All right. Uh, is there a motion to approve? I'm sorry. Is there any discussion from the public? From the council? Is there a motion to approve? I so move. All seconded. All in favor? Roll call please. Councilman Pumper? Aye. Councilman Reynolds? Aye. Mayor Captain Davies? Yes. Mayor Smith? Yes. Was a 4-0 vote to approve the notice of completion for the HSIP? So just again, maybe show you the photos uh, before and after. We did a number of neighborhoods here in town and, and provide, I think that's a great shot demonstrating uh, what we were able to do, including restriping the roads uh, associated with that. So a couple of after photos. Uh, this was the seal code project in a number of neighborhoods around town. You guys have been talking about it in the previous meeting. So I recommend you approve the notice completion for the 2021 service treatment and residential streets project and for our staff to report that document. Jay, did we go back and finish? It seemed like we didn't finish the sidewalk or the cross, crossing walk there when, uh, by Hopkins. Did we get back out there? I was going to go by there today and I forgot. I don't think we've done it yet. I think what we agreed to do was that Tom would put it into his striping routine. Okay. Because the contractor fulfilled his component of the contract. We had not. He was just supposed to re replace any striping that was affected. So one half, that was one of those, we just missed yeah. it, right? One half of the crosswalk got re sealed and so we that's a nice bright clean stripe and the other side we didn't touch so we didn't do it um, but I think Don said he'd try to get his teams out there to do it on within the normal rotation 
notice that. You don't notice everything else that was done. I know we did that. But we'll get it. We'll get it. We have it noted, and, and um, Don's going to put it in with, I mean, unless you want, when you next send your striping crews out to do the Yeah. It's hard to just do one little section of striping because you got to get the whole paper and everything out. So if we do other striping, we'll catch that at the same time. Can we get it done before school starts? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he would say sure. <laughs> I'd like to see it finished, you know, sure. Just sure. before we start using it, you know, next month. Okay. Thank well, you. This month. This month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This month. Yeah. Any other comments? We're okay. Do you have a motion? It's number eight. I'll make that motion that we approve number eight, uh, approve the notice of completion for service treatment and residential streets and project direct staffing to report the same. I second. Motion and second. Roll call. Concrete in that 
there. Oh. But we'll be doing that work our, ourselves with in-house staff. And we just use the uh, contractor to do the major foundation for the, for yeah. the tank. It's like a foot thick and full of yeah, so it doesn't go anywhere. In bad weather with the, tur the tire marks and uh, all that, that all that area to the right will be concreted and then some additional area are actually around the tank will be concrete also. Thank you. Any other comments? All right, we have a motion. I so move. Second. A motion. Second roll call. Thank you, Mayor Smith. I'd like to remind the council and everyone in attendance this evening, uh, National Night Out is tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, in Central Park, like it has been in several years, uh, 5.30 through 7.30. Chief Crager and his amazing staff of Tatchby Police Department, along with the Tatchby Police Foundation, have put this together, so we're very fortunate to have uh, volunteers that assist us with this. But if, uh, Please come out, enjoy the activities, and we appreciate everybody's involvement. Thank you. This starts at 6? Yeah. 5.30 to 7.30, Tuesday night, tomorrow night. Okay. okay. And then, and I believe, isn't the movies in the park going to be right after that? I believe. Is movies in the park right yes. after Chief? Yes. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Thank you. Good question. I got the notes today. Thank you, Chief. I'm just delighted to see the crosswalk at, at Tompkins. I mean, the, the little islands in the median um, are a good resting spot for the stopping guard and for the children in case somebody just decides to barrel on through. So I was glad to see that. And then the striping on some of the crosswalks. I have to slow down and say, okay, is there a stop sign here? But anyway, I'm not used to it yet. So glad to see the improvement. Thank you. Um, there were three of us yesterday at the uh, Old Timers picnic. None of us are old, you know, but we went. And, um, to see who was Yeah, I was going to see who was yeah. yeah. <laughs> But we had a really wonderful time. It was shady, good food. The, the football team served the quickest it's ever been done for the Old Timers picnic. I didn't hear any complaints. Even though when I go to say, uh, like I say, well, hi, how are you? And then someone else says, oh, you know, she's the mayor. And I go, no, no, I'm not the mayor. So I didn't get all that. That lingers for yeah, years. Yeah, it does. So but um, it was a very nice event. And, and I, and Del Troy, you said, was the oldest yes. person. And we love Del, so it was really nice. Also, I expected less people because of the COVID scare and everything, and it was probably normal or a little bit above the average I mean, there was, there was 400 people there. Oh, yeah. And uh, they, we had persons, people there from Alaska. We had, I just made up some rules and stuff. Uh, I asked a lot of questions and we had one with 37 great grandchildren. So it was a lot of fun. Uh, I was uh, asked to him see it. So I walked around and I had a lot of comments how beautiful the city is. A lot of people are back visiting clean the city look and just awesome just positive comments from everybody and we had a good time i might add that the city of Tatchby is one of the major sponsors we contribute twenty five hundred dollars towards that event we're happy to do so the Tatchby warrior booster club is involved and many others of course it's attached to the very park sister event we're very happy to be part of that So uh, we're going into closed session. We're going into closed session. If there's anything to report about, we will come back in here and do so. Thank you, everyone.